Bafuthatswana, officially the Republic of Bafuthatswana, was a Bantustan and nominal parliamentary democracy in the northwestern region of South Africa. Its seat of government was Mabetho. Historically, Bafuthatswana's significance is twofold. It was the first area to be declared an independent state whose territory constituted a scattered patchwork of individual enclaves, and during its last days of existence, events taking place within its borders led to the weakening and split of right winged Africana resistance towards democratizing South Africa. In 1994, it was reintegrated into South Africa, and its territory was distributed among the new provinces of the Orange Free State, Northern Cape, and Northwest Province. History equals establishment equals. The area was set up as the only homeland for TSWANA speaking people in 1961. It was given nominal self rule in 1971, and elections were held the following year. Following the 1977 elections, Lucas Mangat became president after his Bafuth Hatswana Democratic Party won a majority of seats. The territory became nominally independent on December 6, 1977. In the 1982 elections, the Democratic Party won all 72 elected seats. It also won a large majority in the 1987 elections. International reaction The Futhatswana's independence was not recognized by any government other than those of South Africa and Transke, the first homeland to gain nominal independence. In addition, it was later internally recognized by the two additional countries within the TBVC system, Siske and Venda. Despite its official isolation, however, the government in Mabetho managed to set up a trade mission in Tel Aviv, Israel, and conducted some business with neighboring Botswana in an effort to sway attitudes. Furthermore, Botswana agreed on informal arrangements short of official recognition in order to facilitate cross-border travel. Arguing in favor of independence, President Mangap claimed that the move would enable its population to negotiate with South Africa from a stronger position, we would rather face the difficulties of administering a fragmented territory, the wrath of the outside world, and accusations of ill-informed people. It's the price we are prepared to pay for being masters of our own destiny. United Nations Secretary General Kurt Waldheim stated that he strongly deplored the establishment of another so called independent tribal homeland in pursuance of the discredited policies of apartheid, and in Resolution A32 105 N, passed on December 14, 1977, the United Nations General Assembly linked Bafuth Hatswana's so called independence to South Africa's stubborn pursuit of its policies and called upon all governments to deny any form of recognition to the so-called independent Bantustans. During a parliamentary debate in Britain on December 6, 1977, Foreign Secretary David Owen replied in the negative when asked whether Her Majesty's government intend to recognize travel documents issued by the authorities of Bafuth Hatswana for the purpose of admitting visitors to the United Kingdom. While the majority of news reports echoed these official declarations, there were others which opined that Western critics should suspend judgment for a time, and despite its generally critical stance on South Africa's policies, Time magazine wrote that Bafuth Hatswana had considerable economic potential with an expected $30 million a year coming from mining revenues. Bafuth Hatswana maintained an unofficial embassy in Israel during the 1980s, located next to the British embassy in Tel Aviv. The Israeli Foreign Ministry objected to the embassy's presence, as Israel did not recognize Bafuth Hatswana as a country. The Bantistan's president, Lucas Mangup, was nevertheless able to meet with prominent figures such as Moshe Dan during visits to Israel. Equals series of coups DA copyright tat equals, on February 10, 1988 Rocky Malabane Metzing of the People's Progressive Party became the president of Bafuth Hatswana for one day when he took over the government through a military coup. He accused Mangup of corruption and charged that the recent election had been rigged in the government's favor. A statement by the defense force said serious and disturbing matters of great concern had emerged, citing Mangup's close association with a multimillionaire Soviet emigre. During the subsequent invasion by the South African Defense Force, Mangup was reinstated and continued his term unabated. P. W. Botha, president of South Africa at the time, justified the reinstatement by saying that, t, 
the South African government is opposed in principle to the obtaining or maintaining of power by violence. In 1990, during a second coup in which an estimated 50,000 protesters demanded the president's resignation over his handling of the economy, the New York Times reported that seven people had been killed and 450 wounded after police officers in armored cars fired their rifles into the crowds and used tear gas and rubber bullets. After Mangap had asked for help from the South African government, he declared a state of emergency and cut telephone links to the territory for political reasons, claiming that normal laws had become inadequate. The United Nations Human Rights Watch put the number of protesters at 150,000. Coup of 1994 In the beginning of 1994 with South Africa heading for democratic elections, the President Lucas Mangap resisted reincorporation into South Africa. Forty people were wounded when the Futhatswana Defence Force troops opened fire on striking civil servants. Mangap took an increasingly hardline stance, rejected Independent Electoral Commission Chairman Judge Johann Krigler's plea for free political activity in the territory, and fired the staff of the Futhatswana Broadcasting Corporation, closing down two television stations and three radio stations. The white supremacist group Afrikaner Weir Stansbeweging took the opportunity to move in and try to restore the apartheid status quo, but was humiliated in early March when, in the presence of photojournalists and a TV crew, uniformed members of the AWB on an armed incursion to the Mabetho Mafikung area shot at an armed civilians blocking the road, injuring and killing many. They themselves were shot at by members of the Bafuth Hatswana Defense Force and the police and forced to retreat. One member of the AWB traveling back in a blue Mercedes-Benz shot at some people along the road and members of the Futhatswana police opened fire at the car. The driver and his three passengers were wounded and came out of the car and were then shot at point-blank range by the Futhatswana policeman Ondlemets Bernstein Menyatso. These killings effectively spelt the end of white right-wing military opposition to democratic reforms. Mangap was replaced by an interim government equals dissolution equals. With the end of apartheid, of the seven enclaves, six were added into the northwest province. The BNCHU became part of the Free State. The capital, Mabe though, was merged with Mafikung and the combined city is now the capital of the northwest province. Geography and Demographics the Futhatswana had a surface area of approximately 40 oak miles squared and consisted of seven enclaves dispersed over the former South African provinces of Cape Province, Transvaal, and Orange Free State. The capital, Mabe though, was situated in an area bordering Botswana. Following a local referendum on the issue, nearby Mafeking joined the Futhatswana in 1980, three years after the Futhatswana was awarded independence. The homeland was set up to house Setswana-speaking peoples. In 1983, it had more than 1,430,000 inhabitants. In 1990, it had an estimated population of 2,352,296. Only 10% of Bafuthatswana's total land area was arable, and much of that was covered with scrub brush. Though the majority of its population was TSWANA-speaking, TSWANA, English, and Afrikaans were all designated as official languages by the constitution. Economy The Futhatswana was the richest of the TBVC states as it had platinum mines, which accounted for two thirds of the total platinum production in the Western world. It was also rich in asbestos, granite, vanadium, chromium, and manganese. Additional revenues came from the Sun City Casino which was a day trip from Johannesburg and Pretoria, where gambling was illegal under the National Party government, as it was throughout all of South Africa. The Futhatswana also issued bearer development bonds. The so-called BOP bonds are not recognized or redeemable in South Africa, and are worthless as financial instruments. However, bonds in excellent condition are considered collectible. Bonds issued in 1988 and 1989, in our 10 and our 20 denominations, currently trade at 10 to 25 percent of original face value. Security Forces Towards the end of its existence, the Bafuthatswana Defense Force had an estimated number of 4,000 troops, mostly infantry. 
it was organized into six military regions, and its ground forces included two infantry battalions, possessing two armored personnel carriers. The Bafuth Hatswana Air Force of 150 personnel possessed three combat aircraft and two armed helicopters. The president was commander-in-chief and was authorized to deploy the armed forces in both cross-border operations as well as domestically. During its last days in 1994, the Bafuth Hatswana police had 6,002 police officers, operating from 56 police stations throughout the territory. With the dissolution of Bafuth Hatswana in 1994, the BDF and the Bafuth Hatswana Police were incorporated into the South African National Defence Force and the South African Police Service, respectively. Districts in 1991, districts of the province and population of the 1991 census. Odi, 354,782, Maritel, 235,540, Tlharping Tlharo, 101,425, Ditsabotla, 135,045, Molipo, 128,383, Mangue, 89,841, Bifokeng, 88,399, Torn, 134,277, Thubi NCHU, 49,053, Lehurich, 62,901, Madikwe, 52,268, Ganaiza, 47,036. See also Bantustan, coins of Bafuth Hatswana, unrecognized countries, diplomatic recognition, puppet state, satellite state. References